Hi friends, I'm Ellie and welcome back to Tech Tricks channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create an advanced search box in Google Sheets. Think of a sheet full of data and you want to search through the columns. It's time for a search box in Google Sheets that can work with multiple columns. Previously, I showed you how to create this search box on Google Sheets with function of formulas. But today, you will learn the AppScript version. Okay, enough talk, let's join the tutorial. The sheet I'm using here is called Database and contains a lot of consumer information. On the other sheet, which I named Search, I have two tables for searching and having the results and two buttons for searching and clearing the results. As an example, I can use this search tool to find records for the year 1999. As you can see, I have some results. Now I clear it and search by product. For example, mouse. And these are the outputs. Okay, let's take a look at how this amazing search field can be created. This is my database sheet, and I should create a separate search sheet. So I click on this plus sign. Alright, the sheet is created. Then I rename it to search. So right mouse click and rename. Okay, first of all, I prefer to have no grid lines. So I navigate to the view tab, then show. And I turn the grid line off. Okay, two tables are needed now. One for advanced search fields and one for output. I'm merging these cells and typing advanced search field. Now I need fields for ID, year, product, and country. I select these cells and give them borders. If you change the background color and text font and size, it becomes more interesting. So I select the cells and format them with these formatting tools. Okay, everything is good and the first table has been created. The second table needs to be created as well. As a first step, I merge these cells and type output. Below this, I paste the headings of the database sheet. Now I have to do some formatting. Okay, the tables are finished. Alright, it's time to create buttons. I need two buttons, one to search the results and the other to clear them. So I'm navigating to the insert tab in drawing. Now with these formatting tools, I can create a search button. Watch this video if you are unfamiliar with Google Sheets basic formatting tools. You can find the link in the card and description. Okay, the shape is finished. I click on save and close. I do the same for the clear button. Everything is built and now is the time for the main part, typing the code. 
I go to the extension tab, app script. Let me type the code, then I will explain it. Okay, here is the code. First, I define the sheet name, database, and columns. The ID are in the first column, so I have defined them as zero. As column two is the year, I typed it here one, and so on. Next, we have the search function that contains the name of the sheet with the form. The name of my sheet is search. You should replace it with your own name. After that, I have defined the cells I want to use to search for an item. Here are D3, D4, F3, and F4. After declaring our database sheet, we will browse our database tables to match the first element of each record, which is customer ID, year, product, and country. This will ensure that we match the data in our database. As a final step, I need a code to display each cell value associated with the related row. So this was the search function. I need another code to make the clear buy and work. Using this function, you can specify the name of the sheet and the cell ranges that should be cleared. Once the codes are completed, click on the Save icon. The next step is to assign each code to each button. Therefore, I'm copying the search code name. Following that, I go to the search sheet. I click on these three dots. And assign script. Now I'm pasting the code name and clicking OK. I do the same for the clear button and assign the button to the code. The search form is now ready for testing. As an example, 2020 for the year and I click on the search button. As you can see, it brings me all the products sold in 2020. Now I click on the clear button. Let's test another one. For example, mouse as a product. Okay, the form works as expected. Okay, you learn how to create an advanced search box on Google Sheet with TypeScript and search on your database with different conditions. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and do subscribe in case you're not subscribed yet. This is the playlist of Google Sheet. Visit it, you will find valuable videos. As always, thanks for watching. Have a good time.